If you've ever been around Silverton and have seen fields of flowers growing, that is probably the fields for Silver Falls Seed Company. And I'm with Angela Rose. Angela, those are just gorgeous. You guys do a beautiful job. Thank you. Yeah, we offer uh, several seed blends. We offer our native seed mixes for people interested in planting seeds to Oregon or the Northwest. Um, we offer a wetlands mix, a prairie mix, and several others that are available on our website. We also offer your everyday wildflowers mixes. We have more over six different kinds of mixes. Our seeds are harvested here in our fields and they come in here to our warehouse and they come in dirty like this with lots of pieces that. of stems and different things in them and we try to clean everything out and just have the seeds. This seed here is Linaria. It's one of the smallest seeds that we clean. It's just like dust. Oh my gosh. And this is a huge container, but I know behind us we see just stacks and stacks of seeds. So really you guys are busy all season long. Yeah. The seed comes in this time of year. Around 4th of July is when a lot of the flowers are blooming. Um, the flower seed goes to different countries. It goes to uh, different highway transportations here in the United States. North Carolina, Tennessee wow. are a few that use the flowers for beautification along the freeways. So can you mention some of the varieties? Because I know people are going to be so interested to get them for their garden too. We have over a hundred different kinds of wow. flowers and natives. Um, just visit our website. There's a whole list there and pictures of our fields and our close-ups of our flowers. And if you're interested in seeing what we currently have in bloom, I try to update our Facebook page during the blooming season so people can see what is going on. So, Angela, what kind of cleaning goes on? I mean, there looks like this is a really involved process. We're just seeing this right here. Well, it depends on the kind of seed. Um, some seeds require smaller size hold screens. They get screened through the machines and um, other seeds are larger. There's some seeds that we have that are shaped like snails. Oh. Uh, one flower that we have, African Daisy, actually has two different kinds of seed that we harvest off of it. One is a flake and one is a stick. And so we have to separate those out and then the flowers usually get put in the bins and depending on how people want them bagged, we bag them up in different size bags. But the grass seed in general gets bagged in 50 pound bags. Angela, you just don't grow flower seeds, there's other seeds to the company too. Yes, we grow the flower seeds, grass seeds, the natives, wheat, oats, and things like that for the that are native to the northwest or grow in the northwest. And really, it's not just one generation. Your kids are going to be which generation in the business? Sixth generation. Wow. So lots of experience really here in this in this area here in Silverton. Yes, our farm is over 100 years old. So. Wow. So so much history here and really great products. And if you have any other questions, you can go to Garden Time. We'll switch you over to their website, and you can see the pictures that Angela takes. They're really gorgeous and get some seed for your garden. Thanks so much. It's Thank really you. interesting.